Hey, I'm Ian from Benjamin Moore. I'm here with Keith from KM Coatings, Keith Murphy. And here we're going to talk about um, painting ceiling tips. Ceilings are a very tricky project to do, but when they're done right, it is so rewarding. You hate to go backwards with ceilings, you just want them done and done perfect. So here we're going to give you some tips. As you can see, we have some footage of Ellis rolling in this ceiling. He's very good. He's keeping the roller the same direction and he's also finishing towards the light source or towards the window. Finishing towards the light source or towards the window is very important because that's the direction your uh, roller marks show. So if you're going towards the light source, they're less possible to show uh, when you're done your ceiling. When you're painting the ceilings, a good tip is to keep your roller facing the same direction. So if you think of it in hockey terms, if you shoot right-handed like this, Keep the roller right-handed. Don't switch to left-handed during the process. The nap on the roller would fall in a different direction and could cause lines in the ceiling. Heat rises in a home, plus in Newfoundland and Atlantic Canada, we have a lot of electric heat, which is a very dry heat. In a perfect world, we love 18 degrees Celsius and around 50% humidity. These gauges are all available at the store. I think they're handy to have if you don't have something at home. If your house is too dry, the paint will dry too quickly and we, um, you could have roller marks or bubbling. If your house is too humid, which happens a lot in Atlantic Canada throughout the summer, sometimes in the winter as well, and um, that would cause bubbling or the paint to stay too wet and you'd be rolling over partially wet, wet paint could cause issues. Keith, what's your perfect condition for painting ceilings? Uh, the cooler the better, especially in the winter time. You'll get a far better ceiling results when it's nice and cold. Uh, we usually open the windows for our final coat, chill the house out to a nice cool temperature and then close it once the final roll is finished. And the biggest thing is to always keep a wet edge and not apply too much pressure to your roller sleeve because that's where a lot of people go wrong and they get those roller marks because they're, they're pushing on too hard. You have to let, let the roller do the work. For bigger ceilings or trickier ceilings, we also have the Benjamin Moore extender that can be added to the paint. All the stores have this in stock and quite often if you just have a ceiling or two to do, they'll just pour it in for you and mix it up at the time. Keep it well stirred when you're using this. What this does was keeps the will keep the paint wetter longer so you can get further and go across a larger ceiling or a larger space at the same time. Still follow the same tips like what Keith was saying. You know, don't roll too far or don't roll out your paint too much. Definitely go towards the light source. Don't switch your roller direction halfway through the ceiling, but this will help a lot. For this house, we're using our Benjamin and Waterborne ceiling paint, the best in the business. It's the best there is. It looks amazing when it's done right. I hope these tips help you get the job done right and something you're satisfied with in the end.